Hi, it's Ange, otherwise known as Pumpkin Geek, and this is a very quick, unplanned video because um, it's Trans Day of Visibility Day, um, or at least it is when I'm filming it, which is the 31st of March, um, and I just wanted to do a quick video about it. Um, so yeah, um, Trans Day of Visibility is a day to celebrate the achievements of trans people and also kind of like a National Women's Day to educate people about the history of trans people but also like about the issues that they face still. Um, I'm not going to get into that because I'm not a trans person and I really don't think it's my place to. I'm not informed enough myself on it um, but what I will say is um, trans people are you know just normal people are trying to get on with their lives um, you know um, actually there was a question going around on Twitter um, earlier um, asking and it was from what who I assume is a trans person asking why cis people tr support a trans day of visibility and I posted an answer and I've had a chance to think about it and I just wanted to expand on it a little bit and I thought a video might be a good way of doing it. Um, so, first of all, trans, like I said, trans people are just people. They just sort of a little bit different, but just because a person's trans doesn't make them any less of a person. Um, but, and I don't see why people would think that. But there is people out there that do, and then people are quite frankly stupid and idiotic. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, perhaps idiotic is not the right word. Misinformed, maybe, might be better. Um, but yeah, also, like, I myself in the past have had reason to question who I am and, you know whether I was the presenting as the right identity for myself um, and I came to realise a lot of things about myself um, didn't need physical changes um, but having struggled through that I'm not going to relate that to the struggles that a trans person faces because they're nowhere near the same but at the same time if I had such difficulty with that myself I can only imagine that a trans person has it a lot worse and I think when they have decided that they want to maybe change something about themselves so that they do identify when they look in the mirror with what they see as in what's in their head then you know fair play to them it, it's doing something that is going to make them happier healthier less depressed whatever and i believe that people have the right to be comfortable with who they are and if that is a means that they have to transition or even you know not even transition even but I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore you can tell this is totally unplanned um, not transition or transition you know that's a very personal choice I suspect and just because you do one or the other doesn't make you any less of a trans person. I mean, trans covers a whole variety of things, or so I've been told. Um, but yeah, trans people, you're doing great. And everybody deserves to live in a world where they feel happy, where they feel safe, where they don't have to fear harassment, or worse, like... In like in the cases of in America, from I suspect even here under the radar, where people have been killed just because they are trans, it's just like 
killing me because I'm a glasses wearer. You know, you can't really use that as an excuse. Um, again, not trying to compare the two. I was just trying to think of an analogy. It probably didn't work. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. I'm a supporter of trans people. I don't always get it right, but I want to just say that, you know, I do support trans people. I, and I think if more non-trans people did the same, the world would be a better place. And, you know, there's a lot of place, very basic things that you can do. Don't believe the media. Just go and educate yourself on trans issues. Um, go and challenge the facts and figures that the media do present because it's not always correct. Um, there is a lot of fears around, you know, acts that are coming and acts that have come in and some of them are legitimate and if you do have them legitimate concerns then, you know, go and engage with trans leaders or go and do some research on the internet and, you know, just educate yourself. If you see a trans person being harassed, be a decent human being and step in if it looks like they need help. Just to say, oi, no, because how would you like that if it was your mother or your brother or your granny getting harassed over something that makes them a little bit different? You know? Um, anyways, I'm going to cut this short because I can see it's already gone on a while. Um, regular schedule video will be up tomorrow and it's going to be about Facebook and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, bye!